that for that worthless information. <laughs> do puppets like Bob said and um, and I I mean I guess I don't really entertain in the same sense that a lot of you people do I try to be funny as much I, for a while I was going to be a magician but I like to use animals so I learned this trick where I could get a, a dove to fly out of a hat and by about the fifth one I realized I learned the wrong trick because you wanted to come back because I forget it. So anyway, I started doing bugs. I wrote that just no, forget that. I wrote that just for today. So all right, I'll start off. Look, I'm not going to take too long, but I'll start off with a present for. Where's June? Oh, here, June. Thanks. This is uh, uh, the, and last year uh, when I got invited to dinner too, I, I gave June this. Anybody know what this is? Who hasn't? This is the cocoon from a really beautiful moth, and as happened last time, uh, if you hang that like on the porch or something, it that's that's going to come out in April. That's a delayed that's a delayed gift. It won't it won't come out until after the spring. But here's what it looked like a couple days ago. I don't even know. Please, <laughs> we haven't gotten the big stuff out yet. You can come out. Did you ever see what these look like before? Yeah, one, I, it didn't, no, mine never opened, but one landed on it. No, I mean what the caterpillar looked like. Oh, not the caterpillar, no. And you know what, this caterpillar, this one's kind of little, and what I'm going to do, I know it's hard, but I'll let you guys pass it around. It, it doesn't hurt you unless you get like this close to it, because then, no, actually it doesn't hurt you <laughs> anyway, but if you see spike caterpillars like this, sometimes you got to be careful. Some. Some of them will give you feedback, and some of them will. Uh, some of them sting. This one doesn't, and so it won't hurt you if you want to. If you want to touch it, one thing. Listen, if, if you you don't have to pass, you can let it go past you and let other. But just don't jab it in your eyeball, because that will hurt. It, it, you know what? This one is. Let's do a bigger one, because this one is going to get bigger before it's. This one, yeah, this one's going to get bigger before it gets done. And so this is a, this is one that's getting ready to make one of those cocoons, and then it's going to come out. And, yeah, it doesn't matter if you do the leaf or the caterpillar, but we can send this is just a smaller. Ooh, this is the feedback one. All right. And then I'll just show you real quick. It, uh, we're doing a, this is like the half, uh, the 10-minute the, the version of the three-hour act. Here, I'll show you what she looks like when she comes out, though. Although this one's dead, people are like, uh, I know, everybody sounds disappointed. And I'm like, well, I had her when she was alive. Actually, she's the mom of those guys. At one count, uh, there were 133. Uh, I don't know everybody's name. I'm sorry. Uh, this is June and Langston. Oh, the cat. You know what? They don't come when you call them, so I don't really name them. You can be like, here, Caterpillar. Here, Caterpillar. Uh, that's called a Cecropia moth ca caterpillar. That's called a Cecropia moth caterpillar, and this was their mom. And like I tell people all the time, I know how she died, because I had her when she was alive. Actually, I had her when she came out of her cocoon. Uh, you can look at her closer if you miss her afterwards, but this is what she looked like. And then, you know, she, you know I, I had, she, and if you say this with a bunch of kids, I'll be like, oh, I know how she died. And they'll be like, oh. Uh, uh, she starved to death. Oh, thank you. She starved to death. Uh, she starved to death. Oh, I didn't feed her. Yeah, well. Oh, because she doesn't have a mouth. This is a moth without a mouth. 
Is and this so, just that one or all those? Uh, all these kind oh, of real okay, big okay. moths. I, I, I'm going to break her. Uh, all these really big moths that hang around here. You can look at her closer up. I can't get back there. But uh, but this is, uh, and this is an Ohio. This is an Ohio moth too, and the funny thing is, is that uh, those caterpillars, the leaf that they're on, is called sweet gum. Beautiful tree, really nice ornamental. It smells great. It has big, beautiful fruits on it. Lots of different caterpillars like it. And I, for the last two months, I've been like going to find places where I can covertly steal some branches because those guys eat a lot and they poop a lot. I've got samples of the poop. If uh, <laughs> They poop a lot, and this is always one of the highlights of the show when you can... No, this is fresh. I don't know what you think. This is fresh. And I sell this for 50 cents, and in one program I was telling kids, oh, it's really nice if you just put it on your... Oh, yeah. And then, and then uh, uh, <laughs> as they were leaving, I saw, I saw them picking up pieces of it and sticking it in their pockets. And, Here's Caterpillar. There's a free souvenir if you want. You don't know. It's fresh. This is fresh. All right, so, uh, so anyway, those are the... And there's about there's about eight or nine different species of big moths that live around here. These guys all live around. But what's funny is I for for like the last two months I've been going out and trying to find. This is like 15 minutes worth of work on this leaf. And so these guys eat like monsters. And there's this one park, and I always try to make sure nobody's looking and run up and grab these big branches and throw them in the back. And then there's always these other bugs on them that start flying around in the car. But then I pull up in that tree right there in Bob's front yard. That's one of the biggest sweet gum trees I've ever seen. And I've been like covertly in the dark darkness of night trying to steal. <laughs> you know what? what? The leaves the are up tree. too high, but that's a big sweet gum tree. That's Take a real nice tree. Uh, Take the whole I thing. I don't. Uh, I'll have to measure the attic and see if... Uh, okay. But, uh, all right. Actually... I don't know if this will work or not, and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it, but one of the bugs that was on one of these things, I can't even show it to you. You can come up and see it. Uh, I, I didn't know where we were going to be or how it was going to work, but this is a little jumping spider that sometimes... That I like to use in programs because that's what people do. And, uh, uh, and I always like to teach people to be afraid of things that are dangerous and not afraid of things that aren't dangerous, and education is learning the difference, and this one is not dangerous. Um, but it's small, so forget it. But it's really beautiful. So if you want, when you're done, come over and take a Say it again. Yeah, it's kind of, it, well, you know what? You can look at it afterwards. I don't mind. Passing it around isn't going to help. Don't worry. But look, here's what I did bring, though. Because, because I was telling Bob, I don't do puppets, but I can, but I can do, it's like a marionette kind of. I got this. Uh, now listen, if you ever find a praying mantis in nature, uh, don't hold it. I got to make sure it's the girl, because if it's take the dogs off. If it's yeah, they don't dogs. They don't like dogs. They take the dogs off of it. But oh no, this one's the boy. Now you got to make sure to you got to make sure to get the girl, because the boy will fly. The boy, the girl uh, is. Uh, yeah, you can tell the difference because the girl can't. The girl's too fat to fly. The boy is, the boy will fly, and then, and then. But the girl is too fat to fly, and the way you tell the difference is the fat one is the girl. Well, there's other ways to tell too. Uh, but you know, uh, and then all the boys are like, all the boys are like, ah, the girls are fat. And and then all the girls are like, that is so rude. I can't believe you said the girl. You know. But then a lot of times the 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 girl eats the boy, and the boy never eats the girl, and so. Laugh all you want, they're gonna get you one way or the other. <laughs> if you uh, put them together, uh, it's real interesting. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, <laughs> so, this is the girl now. <laughs> I hope she won't fly. She might fly, but I hope not. Um, Where's your container for this guy? This guy, huh? Oh, that's fine. You can just leave him right there. That's okay. Oh no, I, I meant. Oh no. Okay. Thanks. Oh yeah, he's good. Uh, it's sometimes I, I, when I do when I do table setups, these guys will just be sitting there, and one of them will start, and like somebody will be like, "It's escaping!" And I'm like, "It's really not. I mean, it's just kind of like walk. It's not really escape. It'll take it hours to escape. You just stay there for a while." So if you find one of these guys, here's what I was gonna do. Um, I was gonna go to a lot of trouble for this, and then I realized Bob doesn't pay for these things, so I'm like, dude, dude, you know what? This is the this is the budget. This is this is the budget act. Oh, they don't know. I'm sorry. Broke the veil. The uh, um, if you ever, I always tell kids, if you ever find one of these in nature, 
don't hold it. As a matter of fact, you should never hold any bugs. They hate it. We're huge. Very disrespectful to hold. None of us should hold bugs. And you know, you play it up a little, and some kid is always going to be like, you're, why are you holding it? And you're saying, <laughs> that is so charming. And I'm like, well, I'm not. Uh, uh, actually, one of the definitions of holding things is that when you let go, they fall, and if I let go of her, nothing happens because I'm not holding her. This is the respectful way to handle bugs. She's holding me, and this is the way to do it, but if you find a praying mantis in nature and you handle it respectfully, you can trick your friends and pretend you trained her. And this was where I was going to get some popsicle sticks, but I couldn't find any popsicle sticks, so I'm going to just, uh, I, you know what? Imagine popsicle sticks all tied together in marionette fashion, and I was going to get some fishing string. Like, I had a budget. I was going to get some fishing string, and I was going to just hang it off a little bit. And, 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 like, you can say, ooh, I trained this one. Here, show us your front leg. Show them how you catch your food. No, don't look at me like that. Show them your show, – hold them up like – show them your front – hey, show <laughs> – oh, it always forgets which legs I mean. Here, show them these legs, the front ones right here, these two, these ones. Hold them up. Hold, hey, come here. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. It really forgot this time. These legs. These. You know what? I'm going to get the boy out, and he's going to fly away. Hold on. Let me get one that acts better. She's, she's, she's holding off for a feeding demonstration. That'll be the next part. All right. But if you get a praying mantis and you get it in the right mood. Okay, that is scared mantis. That is the scared mantis pose. Just a stick. Just a stick. Wah! That is the that's the falling off your hand, falling off your hand pose. Come here. These guys uh, actually just turned into grown-ups and don't get handled very much, so they don't know what to do yet. Come here. Uh, remember when I said you could train it? Yeah. This is not what I was talking about. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Yeah, it is. All right. Stop running away. They're not bad. They've got big mouths. They're not bad. Look at look at. All right. So. I don't know if she's going to do it because she's too freaked out. Look at her. That is a freaked out mantis. All right, let's get the boy out. Now, if he flies at you, if he flies at you, here's what you do. Run. <laughs> Scream. All he wants to do is have a place to land. So if he flies at you, just put your hand like that and he'll land on it. Unless you want him to land on your face. And he might not fly at you, but he'll act a lot better. So. You find a praying mantis in nature, you can trick your friends and you can say, here, show us your legs, these front legs right here. Hold them up, hold them up. No, imagine popsicle sticks. Look, if I had... Okay. They are not cooperating, so I'm going to give them a cricket and you can watch them eat and I'll get out a spider. I don't think they're tired. I think they're mad at me. Do they get mad? <laughs> they're like, they're like, I am not going to do your dumb tricks anymore. All right. Now, uh, uh, these are on the second shelf in the bug room under the, right by the window over to the left when you're looking. The, uh, these are actually uh, called Chinese. This is a, these are crickets. You find these at the pet store and they farm them. And she might uh, go down there and eat it. One of them might. But uh, these mantises are Chinese mantises, which uh, are actually part of Ohio's ecosystem now, sort of. And so they, they've been here for a couple hundred years. But these are the big mantises that live around here. Where do I find them is a secret, sir. I've got my own special secret places that I can find bugs. But um, uh, really, uh, these guys are third or fourth generation in captivity, because I just breed them year-round. And ever since I've been doing this, since 1996, and um, PR Mantis has always been our mascot, and he insists that we have live mantises. I think we've had six programs without live mantises in them in six years. But since they're not acting right, and we're doing a truncated show, I'll just get out the little spider now. And this one is, uh, you know, uh, usually I have another trap. This is one of my special, special ones. And usually I have another traveling one, and I'll I'll get ready to get it out, and it's it's not it's in a it's in a black container, so you can't see it. And I'll be like, I'm gonna get this out, and you guys are gonna freak out, but it's not what you think. So don't freak out, because it's not what you think. And, yeah. and I'm like, it's not what you think, and I get it out, and I'm like, don't freak out, and then I get it out, and then everybody freaks out, but really, it's not what you think. Um, this is alive. 
And so, yeah, uh, listen, there's certain things I do not lie about, man. This was a very expensive spider, and it is still alive. As a matter of fact, you know, and it's interesting, because I get it out, and people will be like, it's fake! And I'm like, oh, no, it's not fake. And then people will be like, it's dead! And I'm like, oh, no. She, as a matter of fact, it's not even here. Oh. This is the shed skin oh. of a big tarantula. They shed, stunt. they shed their skin all in one piece, and so... Their skin doesn't grow, but they grow, so their skin gets tighter and tighter and tighter, and then their head splits open, and they climb out of their head. That's how all bugs shed. And so this is just an empty skin, and I hope she's not dead, because I wasn't kidding. She was a very expensive spider. This is uh, Goliath Bird Eater Tarantula, and she does our fancy shows when we go like to the conservatory and set up big tables, and she's in a real big cage that I don't travel with very well. But... Um, she made this, I'll hold it down so you don't have to look at the sun, but she made this beautiful skin, which I'm obviously I'm carrying around and not passing around. Excuse me, I'll just, blah, I'll just fit, don't worry, I got, no, okay. And then, because uh, it breaks really easily, unlike those big fat caterpillars, so I didn't want to break. Because like kids will look at it and they'll be like, ooh, it's got eight legs, and then it's got seven legs, and then you're like, ooh, it's got seven legs, and then it's got six legs because they fall off. So she does this periodically, and at first I thought it was only going to be every once in a while, but then the other day she did another one, so now i got to get another box. This wasn't the spider I was talking about bringing. I brought this spider here. Oh, actually, I brought a spider I can do tricks with, like a praying mantis. And you know how well the praying mantises do tricks? <laughs> Shut up, Bob. And so I did. Bob's a... <laughs> so I brought a spider I could do tricks with, but... She went down to the bottom here and is hiding, so let me see if I can get her out. Now, these are, now, okay, there's a couple different kinds of, these are both tarantulas, and there's a couple different, there's, this one lives on the ground. It's a terrestrial tarantula. We'll just put it down there. It lives on the ground, and that's what it does. Pretty much. And then this one lives in trees. Oh. And when you live in trees, you have to be a little bit crazier. And when this one sees this one start goofing off and walking on the side and stuff, it's like, ooh, man, I wish I could do that. This is a pink toe tarantula, and it does, sometimes it does tricks. Sometimes you can get it to be... Mother Mary of God. See, you can get it to jump from... Well, well no, because this guy... And, and what's happening now is this is... <laughs> that was a jump. Some people think it just falls with style. But that's a... Whoa, that was a jump, and and it's actually called. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, wait. Sorry, you did that. You forgot. It's so hard to train these guys. All right, here you ready? You ready? ready? Wait, come here, come here, come here. Jump. Oh no, wait. Do it. Go. Oh, okay, that was falling. That was not jumping. And by the way, uh, it does not hurt itself when it does that either, especially on on grass, or I wouldn't do it. That one, I would never play these games with that one, no matter what it does, because it lives on the ground and it doesn't fall well. It's not a religious thing, fall well. It just doesn't. <laughs> you know, you get a group of kids, you can't tell that joke. There's, a lot, there's another joke you can't tell a group of kids. Here's a, gr a joke you can't tell a group of kids. Mama, I talk about eating bugs all the time. My mom had two specialties when I was growing up, chocolate cake and meatloaf, and she would never tell us which was which. Kids never get that. <laughs> And, but this is a beautiful spider, and she'll, by the way, I can get her to stay on my hand, so I won't freak anybody out. But it's better, it, it's better if you get, if you see her against black, because she's got really beautiful colors. Does she bite? Oh yes. As a matter of fact, she is so deadly. The instant you touch her, you die instantly. This yeah. is one of those kind of spiders. Really could become oh, paralyzed okay. like that. Uh, <laughs> But if you, yeah, well, she's got beautiful oh, pink toes, yeah, and she's got really pretty colors on her. So and she's got like bluish. She's got like bluish. Yeah, you can see that on the black. Oh, I guess I got to have a black shirt because oh, it's yeah, hard to walk. Coming out. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Okay. She'll be fine. So a spider like this, does it bite people? Maybe I don't know. I've never seen it bite anybody. Uh, if it did, you might not even know it. Ah! It does jump a little bit, man, but that is an artifact of living in trees. If you live in trees, you don't know where danger is going to come from, and it doesn't run. You'll notice when it jumps, it just stops. And if it was on regular ground, it would skitter, excuse me, it would skitter and stop. Because if you're in a tree and you run, uh, uh, you'll fall off the branch. You, you don't want to run, keep running, and you run right off the edge of the branch. So it'll skitter and then stop. But um, this one, the best part about these guys 
they live in trees and they make like a hammock like this see where it's all that web it made that like hammock and it'll sit in that hammock for like two weeks and and, and hunt from there and live in there and if you live in a in a little hammock in a tree you don't oh yeah keep an eye on that one will you? you don't <laughs> You don't just poop there because you don't want to poop all over your hand. I mean, you don't think about it. It's like an astronaut. You don't think about these things. But so you also don't want to just stick your abdomen over the edge of the hammock and then just poop on the ground there because you'll make like a you you'll produce a pyramid of poop pointing the predator to the something. There's more peas in there somewhere. But so they so they so they have projectile poop. They'll stick their abdomen and they shoot their poop. And I and I usually end up with a stripe. I don't think I've gotten it yet. I usually end up with like a stripe across. So so aside from jumping and being kind of freaky, they shoot their poop. And so nobody likes these spiders, but I do. Um, okay. And so so that's a pink toe. No. And then this other one, and you can see she is. You can see how she never does anything. She just sits there. The praying mantises do tricks or just sit there and she just sits there or gets up and walks away one of the two all right but now this these one are local to ohio oh yeah uh, no no <laughs> no if you saw one of these in ohio you should check the lid to your cage uh and then this one uh i'm going to try and walk around but you can come up again like i said after i'll have them out uh and there's other ones i'm not going to do either because pretty soon bob's going to start going man how long is he going to do this? this this was like yeah, no, we yeah. Like this. yeah. This one is, uh, this one's called a rose tarantula, and I'm going to come around and show you a little bit. And, and Okay, so one of the things uh, you probably don't have to deal with in your programs uh, is people being instantly scared, unless you're clowns, people being instantly scared of what you're doing. Uh, and so, but I tell you, I mean, I get, there are people get up and walk out of the room before, like if they think it's going to be a spider, they're, and they're like totally freaked out. And it's another case of where, be afraid of things that are dangerous, and most spiders are not dangerous, so I'm just going to do one quick teaching thing. Spiders bite to eat. We're not food. I always tell kids that spiders bite to eat just like you do. If you're biting something, you should be eat. Do you eat your sister? You don't bite your sister, sir. You, you eat your best friend? You don't bite your best friend. You, you bite to eat, and so do spiders, and we're not food. But also, spiders can't chew their food. So when they bite, it would be like if you got a big bite of sandwich in your mouth and you couldn't chew, you couldn't swallow it unless you got a bunch of spit in your mouth and your spit has enzymes in it to turn your food into mush and you go, and pretty soon you'll be able to swallow it. That's how spiders eat. They take their fangs and they're like needles. When you get a shot and the medicine goes through the needle into you, that's how their fangs work. They jab them into a cricket and spit enzymes into the cricket, turn it into mush, slurp up the mush. Spiders don't waste their enzymes. They can't eat without their enzymes. So they don't look at something and say, ooh, I'm going to go bite that. Ooh, I'm going to go bite. You saw this spider and thought, ooh, I'm going to go bite that, right? <laughs> we don't eat spiders. And so just as unlikely as it would be for you to go up and bite a spider, it would be just as unlikely for a spider to bite you. So it's a misconception, and you end up not getting to talk about a lot of the things that are really, really cool about spiders, because they're really, really cool. Like that one. Did I mention this one has projectile poop? Yes. <laughs> yeah. If you're scared of it, you never get pooped on. Uh, that might actually work out in your favor. But the thing about this spider is that when people are really freaked out, and especially kids, this one's called a rose tarantula. And I'll come around to a certain extent, but as I go around, you might not get to see it in back. We'll see. But it has sort of a sheen in its and it's middle part that's either purple or pink and it depends on the light. But when people, I always teach the, the, the fundamental part of what our programs are all about is respect. And the way I think of respect is linguistically. Spect is from the Latin for to look or to see. It's the same word we get spectacle or spectators from. Re means back or again. Respect technically means look again. And when you look again, you understand how to act more respectfully, but then you also see all the cool stuff. So all I care about is people don't run away screaming because then they'll miss everything. This spider is great for it because when people are nervous, you can just say, oh, yeah, but there's some controversy. Can you just tell me, is that purple or pink right there? I can't really. You, oh, you say pink. You say pink also because I'm. Um, now you see, no, but but is it purple or pink? Is it purple or pink? No, you don't have to throw it in people's faces, but but that is one way to, but but once people know it's not dangerous enough, then they have to get over it. And you know what? I could do forever, but there's other bugs if you want to talk about them. We can. Thanks for giving me some time. There's cards and stuff, you guys. Thanks. Uh, spiders. This spider could bite. 
Uh, but, I mean, if she bit me right now, it would be like a bee sting. If I bit her right now, it would kill her. I could do it. <laughs> but, but uh, uh, so, uh, things that get called spider bites almost never are. Okay. They could be. Most spider bites that are real spider bites are like little mosquito bites. Okay. Spiders are really innocuous animals. But if you see a spider around, it's eating something and it only eats live animals. So whatever it's eating is much more likely to mess with you and the bites you're seeing is much more likely to come from that than it is the spider. Because spiders don't waste their enzymes on us. I mean, that's just how it goes. That's just how it works. I'll turn this off so it's not about me anymore. It's about you now, Bob. It's about you. I'm turning this off. Okay. He's going to hand you that spider. <laughs> Anybody who wants to can. <laughs> okay, go. Are any of them eating? No. See, they, those guys were a buck. They make, you know, they make it. Uh, I don't have one with me, but they make a real interesting egg case that looks like a uh, like a dried out the, marshmallow. Did you lose the caterpillar? Yeah. Not knowing what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And one day we had there it is. hundreds, right? Well, and it's <laughs> escape. Oh, there he is. Oh. I know. Sometimes, sometimes people who go out and collect their own Christmas trees will call me like right after them. New Year's and be like, "Oh, what? that's so cool! You got this present." But uh, uh, you know, when she makes that, it doesn't just come out like that. It comes out like a froth, and she kind of bubbles some out, and then puts some eggs in, and then bubbles some more out, and puts some more eggs, and then it dries out like a mark. But then those.